Hey guys, it's me again, Bruno. Welcome to a new video. So, I've been talking in my last two videos about Walter Disney, Walt Disney. And I did two videos uh, about him. Uh, the first video was keep pushing, don't give up. And the second video I did was Walt Disney's lesson. Okay? So the title of my video today is uncommon man and the first thing I, I want to tell you guys it is that this story of Walt Disney his life is so inspiring so motivating um, that I can't get I can't squeeze the juice out of the fruit each time I'm doing a video I still get more I want to say more and in this video, I wanted to, to say that, yes, Walt Disney was an uncommon man. And it gave me the idea to do a series. And I will do a series uh, called Uncommon Men and Women. So, Walt Disney was an uncommon man. Why is that so? Because he had a dream. The dream that we know? Um, Disney World, Disneyland... All the cartoon, the empire, Disney, came from him. And I said in the last videos that he had big, big challenges. He filed for bankruptcy seven different times. He had two uh, emotional, two nervous breakdowns. It was tough. Really, really tough. And I can imagine that... Um, as I said in my last video, people were telling him, man, give up. Give up on this dream, man. You're not going to make it. Even people who loved him. And he was an uncommon man because he refused to give up. He protected his dream. He was unreasonable. He chose to be unreasonable. He chose to be a dreamer. But a doer because he worked really, really hard. So... What I get from his life, Walt Disney, is that he had a vision. And it didn't matter what was happening around him. The company was failing. He was filing for bankruptcy. He would get up and keep, keep working. His wife will tell him, Walter, give up. He would say, I got to continue. His friends and maybe his business partners will tell him, look, Walter, look, Walt." We're not going to make it. Give up. He would say no. He would continue. Keep pushing. Keep working. Keep believing. And that's what we have to do. We generally, we give up too soon. We really give up too soon. Most of us don't even try to, to work on their dreams, to, to start something. We had that idea, but we are so afraid to fail that we choose not to do anything. Uh, something that we really see more and more in our society is procrastinators. Why are procrastinators procrastinators? It's not because they're not intelligent. I know a lot of procrastinators who are highly intelligent. They are just people who put things on hold, who postpone. Okay, I will do it tomorrow. Or I will do it next week. Or I will do it when uh, my finances are right. Uh, I will do it when the kids are grown. 